Swipe Up, episode 226, the podcast where I share my unfiltered thoughts on the latest news and entertainment updates. I'm your host, Ray Taylor. Here's a timeline where the Chinese surveillance balloon was spotted before being shot down over the Atlantic. Uh, a suspected Chinese spy balloon was shot down in U.S. airspace. The balloon was described as a white and size of three buses, gigantic, uh, traveling at an altitude of 60,000 feet. Uh, Chinese Foreign Ministry claims it was used to use for meteorological purposes, pretty ridiculous, uh, to be sh sending weather balloons over the U.S. Uh, the balloon entered U.S. airspace on January 28th near the Aleutian Island in Alaska. Uh, it entered Canadian airspace on January 30th, so two days later, uh, over the Northwest Territories. Um, it re-enters U.S. airspace over northern Idaho on January 31st earlier, so it's kind of going along the northern border of America and southern border of Canada. Uh, early sightings of the balloon were reported in Montana and Kansas. The balloon uh, was seen over northern Carolina and southern Carolina and eventually shot down over the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of South Carolina. So it got all the way across the United States, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the balloon was struck by an F-22 firing a missile roughly six uh, nautical miles uh, off the South Carolina coast. The balloon was ultimately shot down in U.S. airspace over U.S. territorial waters by fighter aircraft assigned to U.S. Northern Command, uh, which apparently there was one shot down in Canada. Canada shot one down, and apparently there was another one shot down in Alaska. So it's Seems like this first one they waited from it seems like they waited to make sure they shoot it down in an area that is not populated, probably because they didn't know what was in it. Who knows? Shoot it down, maybe it detonates when it hits the ground. Who knows? Maybe that was the purpose for us to potentially shoot it down over like over US soil. Uh, but that's was their excuse for that first one, why it took them so long to wait until it got all the way to the other side of the country before shooting it down. But since then, there's been another one shot down in Alaska, and then another one shot down by by Canada. And from what I've heard, there's also Iran is uh, working with like a drone company. There uh, ideas that maybe drones could be potentially a threat coming up. Uh, kind of crazy. Obviously, I don't have all of the details. Obviously, there's going to be plenty of the United States population who believe a lot of fictional crazy stuff. Uh, and from what it seems like, this happened during Trump's election as well, except for he didn't do anything, which makes sense because Trump really only cared about how he could profit off of his presidency or how he could help other wealthy people profit while he was president. That seemed to be the only thing he cared about. Do he doesn't obviously doesn't care about anybody aside from himself. Uh, I would imagine he cares very little about his family, uh, but he's somebody that only cares about himself and only really values money, which is something that he's ever actually had to earn himself. He comes from money. All of his money came from his daddy. So him and his family are all people that have never actually understood what building something from nothing is. Uh, and, uh, you know, for them to care about the public at large... Uh, is pretty laughable. It is it's kind of sad that people actually think he cares about them, right? Especially a lot of poor white people that think this billionaire 
can somehow is somehow relatable to them as like a guy that's never had to think of the price of groceries probably has never shopped for groceries himself probably never seen a bill right probably never had to think can he afford a th- like had to check his bank balance to see if he's going to overdraft that month right there is a completely different reality that people like that exist in that have zero connection to what the majority of human beings are living with and that's coming from people like trump who come from money who's never really started have never had nothing right similar to like an elon musk or you know a lot of billionaires really all come from money all have had financed from their their parents from their family um verse and even people who may have come from something who have actually made a career like maybe like a joe rogan who started from nothing and now is a wealthy white person who is just as detached from reality as somebody like trump or an adam carolla like there's a lot of rich white dudes that are pretty much have disconnected from the reality of life uh and i don't know how i got into talking about that when it comes to chinese weather balloons or whatever their surveillance balloons are um yeah i don't know man uh, as far as like I, I know i've seen people discuss oh it's happening because they think america is in decline it's like uh yeah no duh america america's had been in decline for a long time Pretty much, I would say, the trajectory changed for this country back in the 80s when Reagan really changed the wealth directions in this country and lowered the tax rate for the wealthy people in this country and increased taxes for ev- like all the poor people and middle class people in this country have really been the only people to pay their fair share of taxes where since the 80s wealthy people have gotten a pretty big break and continue to get pretty big breaks and there is a whole political party that is defending at every chance against anything to change with that concern um so i would say in many ways we are have been on a downward trajectory as far as our society i think 9 11 was a pretty big part of that where we just start these forever wars right the one time we've been attacked on american soil was when a republican president was in charge and really didn't care too much when we were being attacked as he was reading a child's story to a bunch of children in a school right doesn't didn't really they didn't really do much i don't believe the conspiracy that they caused it that they planned it as much as they knew it was going to happen and they just allowed it to happen in order for them to then make a bunch of money with all of these government contracts for war obviously vice president at the time made a whole huge amount of money with Halliburton, right it's just insane so i think we've been We've been on a pretty hefty decline for a while. Uh, We are very much late stage capitalism. We are very much in a place where, you know, there's a reason there's a lot of people that are homeless. There's a reason why people are not wanting to work at jobs that don't pay them a living wage. Uh, And it's insane that there's a huge amount of the population who defends wealthy people defends these ideas and these trajectories as if people who are poor or homeless are lazy in some way it is absolutely insane the amount of delusion that exists in this world uh but yeah of course okay spy spy balloons which happened during a time when we had a worthless president who's literally failed at everything a guy who's never actually succeeded in anything all of his businesses were failures he never won a popular vote when he got the job as presidency he failed to overthrow the government this dude has literally failed at everything he's attempted to do 
and people still support him. And he 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 tricks all of these these simp's into giving him their money. Like he tricks so many people into donating money to him. It is absolutely insane. So of course he didn't do anything. He wouldn't have done anything. Like if if a country wanted to invade the United States while Trump was president, he wouldn't have done shit. He would have just gotten on a yacht and said peace out. The dude runs for cover at the slightest sight sign of difficulty. I don't know. It is what it is. And it's crazy, I'm sure, and related to the fact that there's an increase in these unidentified, I forget what they call them now. They're not UFOs. They have a different distinction. Talked about a few weeks ago. I'm sure these weather balloons, these surveillance balloons, are only some of the devices countries are using to spy on us or surveil us as if we aren't spying on ourselves in a lot of cases as as if we aren't spying on other countries as well right i don't know like to think that our government has our best wishes and our protections at hand seems pretty ridiculous when you see the types of laws that are constantly voted against the rights that are constantly being taken away the distractions that they're they're doing as they label they label people that are different as monsters in order to like completely distract them from the massive amounts of abuse that they're doing on every single level New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where, where you, you wake, wake up, up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.